So for all those that are actually watching on the internet and you're not from LA, donate to Drupal. <laughs> <laughs> or LA Drupal. We take sponsors. <clears throat> and donations. All right, that's another topic, another time. All right, uh, Drupal Cap LA, woo, 2008, happening this September 13th to the 14th. I'm going to have more information later tonight, but I, I know everybody wants to see Drupal Cap LA. So DrupalCampLA.com, it's our own little separate website. Of course, yes, all the LA Drupal websites point to this somewhere. Uh, we're going to make it easy. Um, not this poll, but on the official group's Drupal page for LA, there is an attendance poll. Please fill it out. We just want to know your interest if you plan to attend. September 13th to the 14th, we have tracks planned for, come on, scroll down. We have, tracks back, uh, we have tracks planned for beginners, designers, and developers. We got all of you covered, okay? Um, for those interested in presenting, you want to do a topic, hold the little birds of a feather, a little round table session, Get ready, start writing, get prepared, get your slides started and everything. We're gonna do the call out officially online and at the next meeting, but we got a lot of logistics to deal with first, okay? We're all very excited. It's coming September 13th to the 14th. Yes? The next meeting is like 15 minutes before uh, yeah. the group again. Yeah. Maybe that's a little late. That's the, but that's like my guaranteed latest date that I can tell everybody something. Okay. So, But no, everything's coming online. Um, there's some very uh, promising locations, uh, venues coming up, but we're really trying to make sure that, one, we can do this because it's free, and as many people saw, some of the camps have been charging, you know, 25 bucks to show up. We've already announced that ours is free. We want ours to be free training for you folks coming, okay? We are sticking with it. We're pretty much dealing with sponsors for all the money, so the venue and logistics are much more costly when we're not taking in any money for this, okay? So please bear with us. We want all of you there. We want some of you there too, all right? Coming from internet land, all right? This is gonna be great, this is gonna be huge, okay? Last camp was over 100 and something people, and it was two days also. So if you wanna, go, you wanna join, keep your ear to the ground, keep excited. Actually, you see these badges? There's a way to promote the, uh, the camp, okay? So you can actually come over to the website. There's a promote link. You take these web badges, you can embed the video, okay? So put this on your blog, put this on your website, tell your cool homie friends, all right? Let everybody know because this is, we're very serious about this and this is gonna be very fun for all of us. Yes? So, you know, uh, once again, for all those folks that are making money hand over fist uh, with Drupal, there will be opportunities to uh, contribute money to this and uh, sponsor this one. There. Yes, there, I, I, actually I was even thinking that LA Drupal will have donation jars there so you can just literally put it in a group thing for LA Drupal. If you want to have actually your name on it, you can put your money in an envelope or something, give it to us, we'll take care of it. But we are going to make this a destination that you can learn, contribute, get involved, and network, network, network. Are yes. we going to have like sponsored shirts or anything like that? Uh, the details about the shirts are remain to be seen. Uh, we do have sponsors. I'm okay no, it's okay. They're fun questions, though. I got it. I got you. Um, yeah, we're looking to try to get T-shirts. It's something that the New York camp had done, and you know, you try to see my conferences. Um, but remember, we are doing this event for free. We're trying to make this like the thing that you guys want to go to every year for Drupal, no matter what your level and what your skill set is. Okay. I I, I would say hey, anybody's got. Design yeah, you know what, actually, because I was going to announce a little bit more later, because we, we are taking on more volunteers to help with the website of the camp, also the ladrupal.org website, so if you're, if, you're a, if you're a module developer, if you're a themer, or you're just like, dude, I just hacked CSS really good, you know, and you want to help out a bit, hit, hit, hit me up, hit somebody else up and say, where do I help out, okay? And there's more than just technical stuff, you know? We need uh, some copy editors, some people to go through and say, you forgot a comma. You know, just help out. Just do some cool stuff with us. Real yes. quick before you move on, um, who's providing your t-shirts? Uh, the actual... There's, there's, if you know who can produce t-shirts, then talk to me after. Okay. okay, so anybody who's got services like that for printing stuff, for, you know, uh, swag, all that cool stuff, you know, come talk to me. We'll get you, uh, you know, write your info down. But we're really looking for a venue more than anything. Again, we've been talking to places, but if they fall through and you know we don't have anything else lined up, then we have to cancel and we're not gonna do that. 
So hook us up. We're looking for a place that has four rooms and can accommodate 200 people, food and drinks in a central area. That's pretty much it. Parking is hopeful. You know, if you can find a venue that doesn't have parking, well, it's a free event, so you gotta do it. <laughs> I had a question over here. No? <coughs> Wasn't AOL like the location that might happen? Again, we're talking with venue sponsors. We haven't locked one in yet. It's a little scary to say that right now, so we would like a list of any other venues or people who have a place they can donate. Okay. Well, you guys were talking about working on LA uh, Drupal. Or, I mean, are you going to eventually do that, or is that? The eventually do that is we're waiting. We're expecting more volunteers to step forward. Can you repeat the question? Yeah, uh, the question was uh, there was the expectation that there'd be some movement on the yeah. LADrupal.org yeah, website. Yeah, it's been brought up in the discussion yeah. board before, and I'm just wondering, you know. We, uh, I myself have actually outlined uh, on the official LA Drupal right. website, um, you know, basically the things we got to do as a team. So you can even look at that list and say, hey, I could do that. And you know we'll hook you up. Come, you know, talk to us online or in person. Okay. And we have a page on uh, Drupal over there. Yeah, let me pull it up. Might as well, huh? So there's a post, and <coughs> we know it's not the best way to find these posts that we talk about all the time. But uh, again, there's. I mean, these are my notes. So these are things we got to really do and take care of. Okay. Alright, so enough of that. One, one last thing. Yes. Um, I don't I don't know if it's a crazy idea, but um, I think it might be a good idea to have like some kind of meeting in between the monthly meetings to maybe go over or talk about stuff like Yeah, that. actually uh, we always ask that people jump online. You can go to drupalchat.net and jump in our IRC room if you're not familiar with IRC. But a bunch of us, you know, a good <coughs> A good dozen of us actually jump into the IRC room and we talk about this. We need more people to present themselves as volunteers. Yeah, right. Make it happen. Well, we're, 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 we're making it happen, no, but we need more people. It's like actual physical meeting, like maybe take over a Starbucks or a library or something like yeah. that. Okay, we can call out for a meeting. We just haven't seen enough people to really come forward to be able to it's meet together, but we have no problem. It's totally an open group. I mean, if you want to pull together, that's the whole concept behind it. It just, it just seems like there's a lot of stuff to talk about, and it's a good time between now and Drupal camp, but I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So, if, if, for, those, for those interested in helping LA Drupal with their LA Drupal websites, the camp and the official.org site, is there, is there a show of hands? How many people would like to just hear more to be able to try to help later? Okay. We'll initiate something in person, in real life. For everybody to meet up separately, and we'll see who shows up. Just for like an hour or two. Yeah, exactly. We'll we'll hook up. We'll we'll pick a target that's pretty centralized, uh, so people from West Coast can actually travel for the first time. Um, and we'll actually we'll talk in person. So we'll do that. Thank you actually for the recommendation. Appreciate it. No, I, I mean we'll try it out. We we're trying to do it online so people don't have to keep driving everywhere, especially with gas. <coughs> but I'm excited to see that some hands went up. Thank you. Uh, so sticking with our local Drupal news real quick, uh, again, Drupal Camp is happening in September. I'm going to have a little bit more on that later, okay? LA Drupal is, of course, doing their website. Oh, sorry, that was us. Uh, we're looking for, yeah, yeah, volunteers. See, we got ahead of ourselves a little bit there. Uh, okay, <clears throat> before our first presentation, and we have actually some cool stuff tonight, uh, Blake is presenting the REM Bands Tour website that was done in Drupal. He's going to show you a whole walkthrough, so you're going to see views, panels, a bunch of stuff, great stuff. But before we jump into that, we like to give the local community time to ask questions. Whether you're new or you're even somewhat experienced with Drupal already, if you have a question and there just hasn't been somebody that hasn't answered it for you online or you, it was something you ran into just this week, I ask that you raise your hand right now and you ask the community here and we will answer for you and help you. Oh boy. I see a hand. I'm just curious, um, I'm, I've been developing on Drupal 5 for a while, even though 6 has been out, um, mostly through the CCK, and I'm wondering if anybody has had any luck using CCK in Drupal 6, or if other people are just holding off, or... Um, okay, cool. 
Thank you. So the question was, has anybody had any luck with CCK and Drupal 6? God help me, right? As far as I can tell, it's working. It seems to be Same working. here. I actually just I ran the six betas. Uh, I've, I've been fine with them. I haven't noticed anything crazy. I haven't thrown the, you know, the kitchen sink at them. Can, can I say something about Drupal 6 just for one second? Because I know there was a question earlier. Yeah, about uh, I think we had an answer real quick uh, on the CCK. Uh, I'd just say go ahead with it. I've been developing on 6 now for most of From now on, my clients will be going on 6. So. I, okay, so the answer was 6, yes, CCK and 6, go for it. Um, a question related to that. Are, are you still having issues with images at all? Image handling in six? Because I, I, I question. Like people talk. Yeah. Is there problems with image handling? Have you noticed yet? For the file field upload for CCK? Is that well, what you're talking uh, about? Or? I don't know. I just I just heard that there was uh, some difficulties with the way that the file field and, the, and then the image field was becoming image field file field image. Oh, okay. These other things. Yeah, there's been a lot of changes in like the media handling. They're trying yeah. to add some new media handling stuff for yeah. for, for Drupal 7. Um, I haven't run into any issues with it. There's just a number of different ways you can go about doing things, and they're trying to make it so there's kind of one path so that people don't have you know three different routes to take so that later on... You they're know, all going to do They kind of... Re it's like redundant module. development, right? They don't want to develop three different ways to do this. Makes sense. Thing. Image so, module and image field are all going to be basically working. Right, they're also merging the image module and the image field module so that it's one, so that, yeah. But, but what you use, if you're using Drupal 6, then what image modules, what do you use to make it work? Okay, right. Six, we'll, we'll same way you would use right after. Five. Yeah. I'll, t I'll take that as a question, but I think that's right. a separate one on its own. Yeah, please apologize. Did you have a comment for CCK and 6? Uh, the image thing. Okay, all right. It. We'll jump on that real quick. Terry, uh, you just I just want to say, comment. you know, that if you're starting to build a site now, unless you really absolutely must have something in five from the get, that you should definitely start in six because what you're going to come up against is once seven is out, support for five will be dropped and you'll be stuck with the site that you'll have to migrate to six after only having it for maybe a few months, so uh, yeah, maybe a little longer. Comment? Five, then, then do you have to migrate to six? Or? Well, just be aware that you know once seven comes out, support for five will be gone. You know, so support for uh, no updates security, for five, yes. security updates, all that will be gone. So consider no, no, no. that. You know? Security updates will continue. Feature some, updates. Some, yeah. 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 some security patches do come through. Very critical stuff. Um, I mean, they're going to try to do their best, but. You know, um, if you're doing, and again, Carrie, Carrie made this mention, if you're doing new work, do it in six, try to get as far as you can. If you've done your exploration on modules and you're like, no, like two thirds of them don't even come out for six, then go back, visit your budget, and actually consider donating to those projects that have not kicked over to six or are still in dev and you're scared. Give them the money so they can spend time at home to finish up these modules. Sell okay. that extra car and fund panels. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, th this is this is not a joke. I mean, seriously, how much would it cost for you to do it, and how much can you like throw somebody to get them excited and spend some time on it that they might actually spend more time than you even probably donated to them? Okay, I'm not saying throw money everywhere at Drupal, but if you need something and you can't develop it, your resource is capital. Okay? And you can bring that resource, you can get your name attached to it, at the very minimum is a big thank you and a big smile and a big handshake at the, you know, the events. Thank you for helping get that far along. Okay? If you have companies backing this stuff, if you're a company yourself, trust me, I think if you check it out, it's going to be cheaper for you to throw money at a module than you to spend three developers trying to rewrite something. Okay? It's a recommendation, that's it, but, it, but I, I mean a lot of people you know, are working on this stuff together, more than just us 50 people here. Okay. Okay. Can I throw one other thing in? Um, just just throw, to build on Carrie's idea of starting on six, uh, until Aquia has a production release of something that they are going to support, I wouldn't count on Drupal 5 to have security patches once seven comes out. Um, I, I think, you know, once Aquia comes out with a, a production 
uh, product that they are going to support, everything's going to change. I think everybody will have a better idea. Okay. Uh, for, for those who don't know, uh, Acquia, right? Or what's that? Acquia is basically uh, the organization that is, is uh, commercially supporting Drupal for the enterprise for large businesses. They are the official entity, if you will, behind Drupal. They're organizing a lot of things. They're basically hooking up a lot of people who are willing to donate and pump money into Drupal with the modules and developers who need money to spend time on developing those modules for Drupal. Okay, so they're doing great work at patching people, I mean, uh, linking people up together, companies, uh, sponsors, proposals. You know, they're, they're an agency too, okay? Um, you know, in, in many respects. So they have projects and they are the almost official word, if you will, on how Drupal is gonna be used in the business. They have projects that basically are certified, authentic Drupal stable installs. If you're familiar with Things like Zencore, where they got PHP, tested it themselves, and said, yep, download our version. It, it works. Okay? It's the same thing, but this is great for us. This is free. All the information is made public, so you know what modules are doing. You know what modules are getting pumped. You wait to get packaged together. The focus is Drupal is going to be a product, not a project anymore. It's like Red Hat. It is Drupal's Red Hat. Correlate to another open source initiative with the company? Yes, it is the Red Hat. Okay. It's a distribution. They are creating a Well, that's the whole thing. Yep. It's like, what are they going to actually, what, what do you consider they're going to come out with? Uh, they, you can't, I mean, yeah. unless, you, unless you work for the company. They list, they list certain things that are already on the site, yeah. but. I mean, that's, and that's, as most, that's the most information that all of us have here together. Is, I mean, they're very public. They're, they're quite transparent about the Drupal initiatives they do. You know, um, it takes a lot of effort. You know, even if you have a company of 25 people, the Drupal community is huge. Okay, there's a lot of information to aggregate, collect, you know, disseminate. So there's a lot of work to do, and then of course getting developers. So um, I don't want us to sound like you know we're kind of harping on uh, that we need a, a lot of help in the Drupal community. But if you get involved, it's only going to be better, and Seven is just going to be great. So to come back to our Q and A session, actually. Um, so we heard some comments. So Drupal 6, CCK for Drupal 6, have at it, have fun. Definitely you should be aware of their status. CCK is still officially development, it's like a beta, okay? 6 is officially out though, we're at 6.3 now, all right? So that money should feel stable on. If you don't like CCK for some reason or you're not sure and you don't want to wait, just code your own custom module content types, have fun, okay? Um, now I want to get into the second question that was brought up was what image module should we be using with Drupal 6, am I correct? Yeah. Okay, so. That's from a, from kind of a lower level, uh, another question is, uh, if you wanted to build a, a photo gallery in, with Drupal, uh, and there's a bunch of different ways to do it, and it's like, you know, plenty of different ways to do it, and so, you know, in, in a, Another kind of question is, what is what kind of are some of those ways that people would go about adding photo gallery? Okay, so let's hands? let's kind of add these two together because I think <laughs> yeah, they actually are right. directly related. So the question is, what module can I use to get image uploads and basically compile them somehow in a gallery in Drupal six? What modules are out there? What should I be looking at? Anybody got ideas? I saw a hand. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to use Flickr and use a feed API mapper to, to build a, a photo gallery out of Flickr, out of your photos from Flickr. So we can go over that. But there's Drupal all, 6, right? Uh, yeah. It's actually Drupal 5. There's a couple modules that are needed still. But okay. um, most a feed API module is for 6, so you can use the feed API module to aggregate your f Flickr photos if, if you're into that sort of thing. that word feed? Feed API. Yeah, I'll have it all later, yeah. Okay, so tonight you're going to see some ways that actually are getting close to how you can do it off the uh, how you can do it all entirely with Drupal six modules. We have an answer here. Yeah, I did a lot of research on, on gallery modules, yep. and I don't know if it's out there six yet, but I'm using something called Brilliant Gallery, and I like it because you just create a directory, dump all your images full size, and it automatically creates thumbnails. You can create a it doesn't create notes, which was that was my biggest issue. I didn't want to have to create a note for every image in the gallery, mm -hmm. and um, and you can also have a what is it called? A brilliant gallery? Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Damn. 
Yeah, I, I like it a lot. If anybody wants to talk about that at the break or after the meeting. I did a lot of research for Nodeless Image Gallery, and it's really good. Okay, so recommendation for Drupal 6. And let me, let me check. I don't know if they have a version yeah. 1. Yeah. Yep, okay. version 1.2, and it's actually just been updated, been updated this July, or middle of July. So the name of this module is Brilliant Gallery. And this does not make nodes, as we're told, out of every image, but it can upload a bunch of images and you can get quick galleries like you see on the side right here. And it looks like it uses other, uh, it has some uh, cool JavaScript, uh, pizzazz. Yeah, I can show you a working version right there. Okay, cool. You know, about 70 modules come out in the last three weeks. So, see, uh, I, I've noticed that a ton yeah, of there's a lot coming out. Yeah. So we've got a lot, you know. Uh, I mean, literally, by, by the camp, there may be a ton more, a ton more stable. We might even get some special presentations at the camp of modules that are completed or just out, or about to finish up. Yes? What's the answer to the original question of which module for image has uh, Yeah, actually, the file field, or the image file field, or something like that. Does anybody have an answer for that? Yeah, using the latest version of Drupal, Drupal 6.3, the latest version of views and CCK, and you use IMC and IMC image field, that should work. Uh, IMC is a module? Uh, yeah, IMC is a module. Okay, there's an IMC add-on to that uh, IMC image field, and that works with IMC E. Yeah. Oh, IMC E. Oops. Oh, what you do? <laughs> it's it's right. Right. Okay, what is it again? IMC E, just put a C E. Thank you very much. Sorry. So you download this, and, uh, and then there's another add-in for it. IMC image field, and that plays with CCK if you use, and then you can pull in images. This you know, actually looks nice. Until, um, yeah, and there's a nice, there's a nice thing about IMC because you can look at your file directory for your users. So. Cool. Did everybody get that? <coughs> cool. IMC. We're gonna try to do our best, uh, and actually, everybody who's here who checks online, if for some reason we miss a link that you know was covered, please post in the comments. Somehow I found a lot of people seem to think that IMCE is part of Tiny MCE. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that you have to have Tiny MCE to use IMCE. You don't. No. No. He used to. I, I believe it grew out of the same module thing. There it is. That, that might be some of the roots. Okay. <laughs> well, cool. Um, so we uh, we actually will have time later tonight, yeah, right. um, actually, to cover uh, two more, at least two more community questions. Okay. Uh, one, I'm going to ask again, who does not have a pamphlet? All right, I'm going to hook you people up in the back. I got, you got a pamphlet. Oh, I, I got an extra one. Oh, you got an extra one. I'll take yours in a sec. Okay. All right, so actually, uh, so we've got our first presentation of the night. Blake Lucchese. Oh, I'm sorry. I mentioned Dries. Someone have a good dark. last name? Huh? Wait, dark. Uh, one more time. Wait, dark. Wait, dark. Wait, dark. Like, I'll get it later. I just want to get it right. I'm on camera. All right. Um, all right. So actually, this uh, the survey is on Dries website. Okay. If you don't, basically at the bottom of Drupal.org, it says trademark. Oh no, that's in here. Sorry. Uh, come on. The bottom of Drupal websites, there's usually the trademark link to Dries's blog website. Okay. So that's the easy way to jump to it. Drupal's trademark Dries. All right. All the sites that I mentioned that are really, really cool that are using Drupal now, not those. Statistics, reports, information about Drupal and its community. But if you're looking for cool Drupal sites, want big names, his blog has some of the best I've, I've found anywhere. Okay. 